hi guys and welcome back to the forte playhouse and today we're going to do some seared chicken breast that's already been cleaned and washed with some lemon juice and some um distilled white vinegar and we're going to do some um sauteed seared potatoes to go with it and you're going to be along the ride for it so let's go ahead and get the seasoning marinating um while we work on our potatoes so what i'm going to put in here first is some garlic scallion allspice this is some good stuff right here right here right here right here all right i just like to put some enough to get some flavor on there out for now because the purpose of this is just to marinate the meat because I don't like touching the meat. I got some cumin. Not too much of that. I got some chicken seasoning right here. Chicken, 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 chicken. I got some other uh, some meat tender by zing. Uh 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 uh. <laughs> Let's see a little bit, a little sprinkle dinkle everywhere. All that good chicken, some adobo all purpose seasoning. Go up in there. And just one last thing this is my good, good. I love this one. And there we go. Now, all of these seasonings are good. However, I have one favorite seasoning that I can't find. And it's my kicking chicken. And that's my favorite. You only need a little bit of that because unless you have a pepper mouth, it's going to be spicy. I have a pepper mouth, but I'm cooking for my family. So it's going to be hot to top, 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 top. So I'll use a little bit. All right, so I just washed the glove off because I sat it down when I took it off. Granted, nothing is dirty, but I just wanted to wash it. And now that it's all the seasoning is on there, I'm just going to um, mix it up so everything gets some love. Some of that good love and body rub. <laughs> some of this good flavor everywhere so that nothing is lacking and everything is fulfilled. With the good stuff, with the good stuff, and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards once it's seasoned up well. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. So, so far, this is what it looks mm -hmm. like to me. That's not enough seasoning because I need flavor all through the food, so I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning to it, and I'll be right back. All right, so what I did was add a little bit more seasoning to it, so that's what it looks like. And now I'm gonna marinate it. Well, mix it up, not marinate. It marinates afterwards. Look at me. <laughs> I know y'all always like every time you make a video, all them kids you got always making noise in the background. <laughs> that's the Forte game. It's the Forte Playhouse, honey. And that's how that goes. And now everything now it looks better. You don't see the meat that much. That's how you know it's some good cooking, some good loving, everything, 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 baby. And now we're just gonna cover this up and put it in the refrigerator so that it can marinate for a little bit while we do the potato. Cause we go into potato down. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back with you. So this is what it looks like. All right, so I just washed off my cutting board, my knife, mm, mm, mm. and then the my potatoes, and I got my potato peeler. I got my pot already washed off. Y'all can see it's what we talking about. But we dirty. Mm -mm. And I'm just gonna cut it in half, just so I can um, clean it good. Well, peel the skin off of it. Now I'm gonna put the skin on the side because I want to keep the cutting board as clean as possible. And just peel out the potatoes. And we're going to make some sautéed potatoes, which is really good. Sautéed and some butter. Honey, it's the best. I love it. My kids, they'll eat the whole pot if I let them. And the meal, it don't really take that long to cook. Maybe 30 minutes at the most or less. But, you know, when you got as many kids as I do, you had to put out 500 fires, so... Ain't no telling how long it take to cook the dog on meal. 
because there's so much going on. It's always a whole lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of going on all the time. Oh, yeah. but this right here is one of the best investments that you could ever come up with to take um to peeling potatoes. Because I used to peel potatoes without a potato peeler, and I mean I still I get the job done. But man, this is so much faster. And then they got this little hook on the top of it right here, that little ball. Then you can go, and they got like stuff that's in the hole rather than digging up your potato with a knife. So that's a, another plus to it. And you honestly don't have to be shopping expensive to get one of these. You can go right to the Dollar Tree, and you'll find it right there. And I know they went from one dollar to one twenty-five. I know, right? Like, whew, everything going up. Take it back, take me back to the cheap days. Cause, cause I am cheap, 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 cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. So take me back, take me back to those days when everything was cheap, cheap, cheap. For your girl, cause I don't nuts. I spend a whole lot on anything outside of food. I, I break the bank on the food. Like five dollars for a shirt and, and put it back. So I'm just gonna peel these potatoes and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so all of the potatoes are washed, peeled, and ready to get into the skillet. So now we just want to cut them up into pieces, like nice size pieces. We don't want no little we're not gonna be stingy with the potatoes. If I need to make more, I'll make more. But we're not going to be stingy with the potatoes. So, it's like this be. I mean, maybe you're trying to cook fast. So, you're like, girl, make the potatoes a little bit smaller. You can do that as well. And just throw them over into the skillet. But for me, I, um, I like to leave them a little bit bigger. So, I can watch them cook while I do other stuff. And, and know that they're not going to hurry up and cook down quick, quick, quick. I'm, I like a quick meal, but not a burnt meal. Because at that point, you just need to order some takeout. Ain't no starting no, because you really don't got frustration. Frustration. <laughs> hey, now, my kids will tell you, I turn anything into a song. And if you didn't know, it's always one around somewhere. So not because you don't see them. I'm pretty sure you hear them all the time. But it's always one right here. There go Mari. There go baby Lele. It's always somebody right around. So all you do is just cut these little potatoes up into whatever sizes that you like. And you get you some butter, some little bit of water, a little bit, little bit, little bit, not too much. Some seasonings. And then you cover it up and you let that thing do its thing. Okay. These are right there a little bit bigger. So I'm going to have to cut these in half so that everything can cook evenly. Because you don't want something to be doing it and the other one's still hard as rock. Nobody want that. Like, girl, you telling us the wrong thing to do. You need to start over, baby. And I know I like these knives. This is how pretty. I'll make sure my kids don't touch them. It's like a nice. And my whole kitchen and all my appliances just about is this color. And I try to keep everything, you know. You know how we do. Try to be fancy. Fancy Nancy. <laughs> try to get everything kind of decorated. So these are some really good knives. If you're shopping for some knives, they are sharp. I don't got a couple of cuts from them. But they last a long time and they are worth every bit of it. Alright, so all of my potatoes are put, cut up, washed off again. And I'm going to put some butter in it. It has a little bit of water in it. And put some seasoning in it. Now the seasoning is going to match the um seasoning of the meat a little bit 
And we have our little red here. That is Yamera trying to say, hey, you, you can speak. All right, so now I have one stick of butter. I just cut it up into little triangles, equal parts. And I'm gonna put it in here, cover it up, put some seasoning on it. And bada boom, bada bang. Da -da 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 -bang. <laughs> I'm just a ball of fun. Kids, please do not do this at home by yourself. Ask for some help with your parents because I don't want no one to get cut, hurt, or injured. What, baby? Again, putting out fires, fires, like a firehouse in here, okay? What? This is just like a little weekday cooking. This meal lasts by the, by the, probably the, by the time it's done cooking. <laughs> That's how long it'll last. And then we'll be back tomorrow cooking something else because, um... They don't make that long. So it's just some chicken and potatoes. I'm gonna make some cookies because my kids keep asking about some cookies. Can you make us something yummy? Something yummy like some yummy dessert, you know, like you be making mommy. So I'm gonna make them some chocolate chip cookies when I'm done. And yes, you need to season your potatoes like you season your meat because you need the flavor. The potatoes like love too. And if you can't mix it down right now, it's okay. Now I'm putting this on medium high because we want to eat today and not tomorrow. But you don't never cook nothing on high. Nothing goes on high unless you got like a um a, um cast iron skillet and you're trying to um make some steak and just need you don't even need that one huh you put some butter on there and um let it heat up you know what to do get it seasoned up you know what to you know you know what to now i know y'all see this extra potato over here like girl what you doing with that we're not wasting anything once this get down some um let me put this little fan on when this get cut down some, I can mix it up and make some um make some room for some more. I don't want to mix it just yet because oh, and you see we did wash the sand to cover it up. Yeah. yeah. So I you so I have just been trying to transition by only using wooden spoons and things like that. I want glass pots. I'm trying to transition for what we are known to use and use the better stuff that's cold to you. So I have a lot of wooden spoons. I want some of the butter loving to go down. Now this one stick of butter is not all the butter you're gonna use. You're gonna use about two, three sticks of butter because you want it to be buttery. So you want your potatoes to be cooked down in butter and I'm gonna show you what it looked like when it's done because I want you to have the, I want you to say, well mine don't look like that. Well mine look exactly like that baby. I did that. And we like girl I'm cooking like you. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> so it's gonna you this right here. We're gonna get um another pan to sear up the chicken but not yet because this is going to take some time so that chicken we're going to leave that marinating i did cover that up in some plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator so this right here is good as good as this gonna get put that in the sink you know you have to clean up as you go so every time i say i'll be back i clean up and now this is my butter paper and you see me wipe my hands like that and yeah Okay, hold on. So, yeah, so now what we're going to do is cut this fan off for one. And then for two, we're going to go ahead and um start working on some chocolate chip cookies. Googie, googie, some chocolate chip, chocolate, chocolate chip. So this is the chocolate chips that I use right here. Kind of. 
I get, I know my bag, this is not like the play play, like see the extra size. It's a really big bag, a really big, 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 big. <laughs> I got this from the Sam's Club because they love cookies, they love chocolate, they love sweets. So we're gonna make some homemade cookies. And y'all gonna come on with us for that. I did make some apple pie with the um the Dutch apple pie, which is the one with the little crumble, you know, the little crumble on top. That's real good. I did make some of that. I got an ice cream maker for Mother's Day, so I made vanilla ice cream to go on top. Oh, delicious. But so much ended up happening Saturday that we didn't get the chance to um record none of this. But let me go ahead and take y'all on over to the other side of the kitchen so we can go ahead and get this cooking and keep talking. All right, guys, so we're going to make some cookies from scratch because this is what was highly requested by the littles. So we're just going to make, we're going to get it done, okay? So I already preheated my oven. That's it going off to 375. And I'm going to put some one cup and one fourth of flour in my bowl. If you like to sift it, you can do so. If you don't, it don't make a difference. I sift it today just because.
I'm going to put, uh, so I, you're going to need one egg, one large egg. So we're going to get that, some vanilla extract. So I got mine from the Sam's Club, my vanilla extract. Um, my butter. And, and um, my sugar. So I'm going to mix my egg, my butter, and some vanilla extract, which is a wet ingredient. I'm going to mix those together first. And I'll be right back. All right. So in my cup, I have an egg, one egg, a one stick of butter, and some vanilla extract in this in this cup that I'm mixing. And I'm going to put in one fourth cup of brown sugar and one fourth cup of granulated sugar. Now... If you are diabetic, you're just watching your weight, you use this brown sugar and the um, granulated sugar, which is the white sugar. So you just get this one right here. This one is the brown one. I have the, um, I have to get some more because you see it's about empty. And then I have the same thing in the white one. It says zero sugar, vegan, keto friendly. So you see all of that right there. The monk fruit sweetener. And I don't have no aftertaste, nothing like that. So you'll use that in replace of any sugar that you use. So even if you drink coffee, I just gave, I just dropped some gems on you right there. And you get the same sweet sugar factor from it. They have the white one and the brown one, the granulated and the brown sugar. My favorite is brown sugar. I love brown sugar. What I put in there was two fourths cup of the brown sugar, the brown monk fruit sugar. Um, so now my bag is 100% empty. So this is what I use, the brown monk fruit sugar. You get this on Amazon. I don't know where else you can get it from, but I got mine from Amazon. So if you can't take sugar, you diabetic, anything like that, that's your go-to. They have the granulated and the brown sugar. It's no bad aftertaste or anything like that. Alright, so now that that is in there, I put my all my sugars in there. What I'm gonna do is cut it back on so you can mix that in. Everything gets incorporated. I told you, it's always there, always around. There they go. <laughs> They're always around. They're near, never far. Alright, so let me make sure everything gets incorporated perfectly. So you can get the perfect cookie. Now, again, you do not need a mixer of any sort. You can do this on with your hand. I'm just being lazy. And because I got it, I'm going to use it type of situation so now i have my egg my butter my vanilla extract in here and i'm going to pour that in there and i don't waste anything so i make sure i get all of it every single bit of it we don't waste none of it don't leave nothing in the cook Make sure that's mixed in there good so everything gets well incorporated now the chocolate chips that i'm using say semi-sweet because i don't want anything too sweet and for that i'm going to use one cup and one fourth cup once everything gets incorporated over here
now that that's good, it's well incorporated. We're gonna go ahead and add our cook, um, our chocolate chip in there, which is one cup. Oh Lord, and I'm making a mess. And if you're wondering what they're talking about right there, they're playing Roblox. But because there's so many of them, they don't re really need other people to play with. Now my counter clean, but I just don't want to um, use these, so I'm gonna throw them out. So I put my one cup, and I have my one fourth cup right here. Okay, you want to try? She loves to cook with me. They are actually love to cook with me. I have a lot of helpers. All right, and now we just need that to mix up. Well, not that fast. Slow down. I just wanna get to know you, but don't flash So that is what that's looking like, and it is done. Okay. So that's good to go. We're gonna bake those up. The, the oven was already preheated, heating. So now it's time to just get these up in there for just kind of the sake of getting them all the same size. I use a um ice cream scoop to get them all the same size. Or you can use these, you know, your little measuring cup. It don't make a difference. Just whatever cloth you look. The palm snatchers. So I uh, right now, let me get you guys to go see what is going on with the pot. This is the potatoes cooking. Okay, so with the potatoes almost done and me putting some more in there, I'm just going to turn that down to low. That's good to go. Put this way. Boom. We're going to work on our chicken mix once I get this cookies in the oven. So I just washed out my baking tray. This is what it looks like. It goes with like my ninja foodie. Or whatever it's called, it's a ninja. <laughs> and we're going to spray it with some Pam. Yeah, we're going to use some Pam, spray it down, get them in the oven. All right, so this is what the cookies look like on the tray. I made some of them bigger and some smaller for the kids. You can make it as big as small as you want. If you want to make a lot, because usually if I'm cooking Sunday dinner and I make a lot, I double up the recipe. So um that would be if you want to get a whole lot of them out of it, you'll use two and one fourth cup of flour, one tablespoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of salt, which is optional. You can use uh, use one cup of butter, softened, which is two sticks if you got the uh, stick like I do. You use three fourth cup of granulated sugar and three fourth cup of brown sugar. Make sure you're packing it in there. You use one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I like to do mine to taste. Two large eggs, um, two cups of your um, cookies your, or your chocolate chips, I'm sorry. And then one cup of chopped nuts or you can um, put some a little bit more flour in it just so they can combine. The potatoes is pretty much done. This goes in the oven, and you leave it just, it takes about nine to 11 minutes to make. I'll put that in now. I'm gonna stir up the chicken. I got some cilantro and some lime to add to the chicken. The chicken, my eyes are on right now. So I'm gonna put a little bit of cilantro in there, a little bit of lime juice in it before cooking it, so that the flavors can cook in it. Get that nice 
flavor. I know you're like, girl, what is all that noise going on back there? You just making a video like you don't hear all that stuff going on. I hear it. It's these kids. I'm telling you. Y'all got kids, you know. So, and now I'm just putting up some salami stuff. So put in there. Now, I don't like cooking with oil, so nine times out of ten, you won't see me cooking anything with oil. I don't really like fried foods that much. I'm not a fried food person. Um, that's not my thing. Now, when it comes to the holidays now, I bet so off because I'm going to eat me some deep fried turkey. I mean, <laughs> I'll try to eat the whole bloody turkey to let me. No, not, I don't mean the turkey to actually be bloody. I mean, like, you know. I eat the whole thing, the whole shebang. <laughs> and that is my cilantro. Cilantro, cilantro. <laughs> and now I need another glue because I don't want to touch that. I don't want to touch raw meats. I just don't like it. So we got to get all our stuff mixed up in there. Good, good, good. get this mixed up and then we're just gonna start searing it out i'll turn this to make sure this is on low as low as i can get it because at this point it just needs to keep that hot and i'm mixing up the lime in here and the cilantro all right and that's good back back there and i'm gonna get the i um get the pot Turn that on now. If you, I use butter with everything just about. However, if you want a healthy alternative to butter, you can use ghee. I love ghee. Could I have a healthy way and a non-healthy way for just about everything? Because I like to not gain weight and stay in shape. Without working out, I don't. I don't have time to work out. And not because I don't have time to working out, and life is going means I should look like what life got going on. Uh uh. So I make a healthy alternative to everything, and it's always banging. Okay. So I'm going to put some ghee in my pot. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just to sear up my chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. And let me show you how I eat this. This kind of ghee. Because I like that. If I'm going to be healthy, I'm going to use the healthiest option. If I don't have that, or if I don't feel like it, I use some um, coconut, some coconut oil. Either way, and it's keto friendly, so it's your uh, alternative. So you're like, okay, well, girl, I don't, I'm a vegan, and I want the ghee that still has animal in it. You got the coconut. So that's sizzling up something special right now. Just go ahead and drop our mix in there. So that can stir off. Now we don't crowd our pots so that way it can cook evenly and at the same time. Alright, so I'm just looking at our cookies, looking at our cookies, looking at the looking at the looking at the cookies. So let's see. I know y'all going through the whole process with me today. Today, today, today. And Sunday. Ooh, that's going to be a show for real. A show stopper. 
show, show stop food. Cause then y'all really gonna be on a ride. Y'all, we just gonna be uh, up and through here, uh, through this house. But Saturday, we have a lot in store for you. It's gonna be summertime fun. I'm trying to have the kids to top of some of that. We had popping the um, fire hydrant. No, I don't have no fire hydrant, but you know. I want them to be outside playing with the water hose, um, popping water balloons. I want them to sit in the house all summer. One requirement though is you read one book every day because some of them make you done. You still have fun, be educated, and turn up. And if you don't know the trick, you don't want to get your kids off, you, you, I don't know, maybe you're scared to get your kids off or you want to make it seem like something wrong, if you um, download the little app for whoever your provider is and go on there and cut the daggone device off. Right, so the chicken is still cooking. Um, we're going to get the cookies out because you only take like 9 to 11 minutes. And that's what they look like. I'll give y'all a better look than that in one second. Hey, look. All right. So that's the cookies. Cookies are done. So we have dinner and dessert. And cover that up. When I cover it, I just put some paper towels over it because I don't want it to get stifled. And then we it fill it with it. And it's a lot of chocolate chips per bite. Okay. And I done gave y'all the healthy way to make it. So there's no excuses on why you can't get you something good. Even if you have like an ice cream maker and you want to use some, you want to make some good ice cream, use that. Now that sugar is a little bit, might be a little bit pricey. So you can use coconut sugar too. I used to use coconut sugar. Do I have any more? I don't, because I switched over. Coconut sugar is decent. It gives you the same factor. However, with those, you have to know the type of brand to buy. Because if you buy the wrong brand, you're gonna have a bad aftertaste. Monk fruit, you just keep buying it. No matter what brand, it's always good. Yeah. What, Lele? Yeah. Lele? Yeah. Lele, you cooking with mommy? You're cooking with mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cooking with mommy. Yeah. My mama. My mama. Mm. 